Happy holidays to whatever you celebrate. Over here we celebrate Christmas and Lunar New Year's. So it is Christmas morning. Alex and I woke up early. We tend to always wake up early and we exchanged our gifts to each other. Last night, Christmas Eve, we went over to his parents' place and did gift exchange um, between that side of the family. And then later today, we are going to his brother and sister-in-law's place and actually celebrating with her side of the family. So um, I wanted to do my maybe annual at this point what I got for Christmas. So each year, um, Alex's family goes above and beyond with Christmas and there, we all get really excited over Christmas. So Alex and I actually already got each other like the big gift for Christmas. So for me, it's actually this beautiful ring that we purchased while in New Zealand show you up close. This is the side profile. It's a beautiful 18 karat gold and it has two diamonds set in white gold at the top. And it's just beautiful. So we actually got this at an antique store in New Zealand and we got it for a really good price. It came with appraisal paperwork, so we were able to clearly see how much it was appraised for. So I have the paperwork and the ring, and now I wear this every day. That's the type of, um, at least ring jewelry I prefer to wear is, um, real gold and real stone, just so I don't have to worry about you know, when I'm washing my hands or I can just wear it all the time, you know? So that was his big gift to me, which was really sweet. And my big gift for him was, uh, I bought him all the supplies that he needed for his fireplace in his office. I will insert a little photo of our mantle um, that I took today. So all of the tools and the grate at the bottom I bought for him and all the, whatever he wanted basically for the fireplace. So those were our two main gifts to each other and we said that we would just do stockings for Christmas morning, but of course both of us um, got a little out of hand, M more so him. Um, I did get him more than just a stocking but he managed to fill two full stockings for me and gifts under the tree. He did not need to do that. My husband is very generous and he's, that's just the type of person he is. So, um, I'm very lucky, but yeah, I wanted to show you what he got us as well as some of the gifts that we got from family last night. And I'm not gonna show every single gift that we talked about because, or that we received because some of those are private and some of those are honestly don't make good ASMR sounds. So um, I'm not gonna show everything, but I picked out a few pieces that I thought would have nice sounds and you know, just I just randomly picked out a few. So let's get started with my stocking well, I wanted to show you our stockings first. So we actually have two sets, oops, two sets of stockings. So I'll show you these first. These were gifted by my coworker. Um, we do a secret Santa or like a holiday exchange every year. And I did put these on my list, even though I already had a pair of stockings because I just always like to have backups and 
sometimes your aesthetic is just different from year to year so these are a little more traditional and they come with our initials so mine is obviously a T sorry if I look I'm looking outside because our neighbors kids are like running around in the yard so I'm like oh they can't see through the window right now so it has a nice glittery tea with a little Santa hat little Santa hat and I love this gingham print I think it's very classic and I I am still very much like a more traditional or slightly cheesy, tacky Christmas de decor person. To me, it's like, it's Christmas. It's it's meant to be a little tacky. Um, you know, no, no shade to the beige moms. If that's what you want to do, that's sure, but not me. <laughs> so this is like toned down for me. <laughs> so we have a tea. And of course, we have to have an A for Alex. So we got these um, stockings. And then we have another uh, few ones that I purchased off of Amazon. Now, the quality is not as good on these ones. The, these I just thought were too cute to pass up. Look how cute. So the top is kind of like a burlap material. It says Merry Christmas. And this one's got a little Santa. It's like very 3D. It matches my ugly Christmas sweater, which you guys have seen in multiple videos now. I'm sorry. It's just, this is the only sweater I wear during this time. Um, so we, we got a little Santa with this little beard and some ho holly. No. Yes. I don't know. These like berries? I don't, I don't actually know what they are. But they're like the Christmas berries in this little pouch. So yeah, this one's really cute and it also came with a snowman. Like, I just love how 3D it is. The snowman's got even a little, like, carrot nose and a scarf. Yeah, so you can tell it's not as good quality because the back is very thin. Um, can't really tell on camera, but, like, it's very thin. <laughs> so, I think... You know, if you were to put, I mean, I, I managed to fill his stocking pretty full, and so did he for mine, and they were fine, like, neither of them broke, but I will, I will say, um, I'll link both of these stockings below, um, this one's definitely, like, you can tell it's cheaper, but it's just so cute, I was like, I don't even care, even if we leave them empty, um, they're just so cute, but you can tell, like, I'll show you up close. Like, you can see, it's, you know, the glue's already coming apart. Um, like, these are not going to last you years, you know? <laughs> so those were our stockings. And uh, I'm just going to go through all the gifts that Alex got me this year. So, starting off strong, he got me this set of hair towels. comes with three, but I'll just show you one. So it's, I'm not sure if you've used one before, but you essentially throw your hair down forward and then you put this over and then you can twist your hair inside and then kind of make a little like turban at the top of your head with your wet hair. And I actually have 
but always good to have more. And also if we ever have guests with long hair sleeping over and they want to use one, now we have extra. So yeah, and it's a um, nice microfiber, so it really absorbs the water in your hair. These are really good, especially when my hair gets really long. I always like to use these. And also, it's more gentle on your hair because you're not like rubbing your hair dry. You can just put them up in the turban and have it sit for like 10 minutes. And then let your hair down. Nice and soft. me two puzzles. Inevitably, he gets me a puzzle or two every year, so this is not a surprise per se, but he managed to find these two puzzles after listening to a Tim Ferriss podcast episode, and I guess one of the guests owns a puzzle company called the Magic Puzzle Company, and they do these amazing puzzles. This one is called The Mystic Maze, original art by Boya Sun. Apparently, there, what's cool is once you complete the puzzle, there is a separate pouch that says do not open until you complete the puzzle, and it's a surprise ending, um, which is cool. So. Yeah, I, it says no disposable plastic, so all of the puzzle pieces come in a carp or like a, a paper bag. And if you watched my puzzle video, you know that my favorite thing, or almost like a must-have at this point, is that a puzzle come with a poster, a separate poster. And this puzzle comes with two posters. And it's such a thoughtful detail, and you can tell they probably consulted with people who do puzzles a lot. That there is nothing more annoying when you are doing a puzzle together with someone, and you have to keep passing the poster or the box back and forth. This comes with two. So Alex and I are going to do one of these, but you can just see, like, I'll try to show you some of the details up close of the artwork. And this is exactly the style of puzzle I enjoy, where there's a ton of little details. I'm very excited for this, and I will try to find a link to where you can buy these. So he got me two of them. This one is called The Puzzled Patron. It's got a little monster on it. And you can see the back has some more detailed scenes of the puzzle. And this one is, the original art is by Taylor Rose. I'm really excited <laughs> to do this. And obviously today we're just hanging out at our place before you know, going over in the afternoon. So I think we'll be able to get pretty good headway with this puzzle. So I'm very excited to do both of those. And 
I think Alex said that currently there's a few on their website. They don't have a huge variety of puzzles, but if I enjoy these, I'm definitely gonna buy more. <laughs> so, yeah, he knows me well, so he got me two great puzzles. Next, we have some more <laughs> practical things. me a cheese, a cheese, um, I mean, it's not a cheese grater, it's like a, what do you call this? It's like for Parmesan, so that way, um, the cheese just comes out the side instead of having to grate it, and it gets kind of all messy and everywhere. and things with parmesan in them, so this is very, very, very useful. And again, I think every year I'm always amazed at what he finds to get me. Because for the most part, you know, we, we obviously live together and a lot of times I will just buy myself things, as does he, you know, when we want something. So Christmas tends to be a little hard to get sometimes because we kind of, for the most part, have everything we want. And neither of us are, you know, luxury, uh, luxury type people. It's like in traditional luxury, you know, like handbags, shoes, belts, whatnot. definitely use. So there's that cheese grater. Then he got me a little beanie from Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer is like both of our favorite outdoor clothing stores, but it's a nice little beanie that sags in the back kind of like a little poof. Um, I think it's pretty cute. I have a, a few beanies, but again, this is something that is always good to have and that I will definitely use. And I like the color a lot too, kind of matches like the green and green and red Christmas. So yeah, nice little beanie for me. Then he got me a ton of sour candy because that is my favorite, but I did not bring up all of it. brought two as an example. So he got me the Airhead Extremes. I love snacks. I love snacks. Um, my favorite thing to do is try new snacks or new candies that come out. These I like. They usually come in the strips, like in strip form, but these are the bites. gummy clusters. Go try them. They're so good. But warning, you might get addicted. <laughs> Alright, then he got me, very thoughtfully, some knitting stuff. And so cute. It's like, <laughs> he got me um, a set of three balls, skeins, I'm not quite sure the unit, of, of wool yarn. 
and they're kind of all this like beautiful purple blue color scheme pick them all out by himself and I love this middle color especially this this blue which has some white going through it it's so cute um, it's a hundred percent super wash wool um, and it's so funny because it's cute to me because obviously I'm like okay you're clearly a boy who doesn't know what I crochet usually um, it's three it's three weighted yarn which for me as a beginner crocheter um, it's a little light it's a little hard for me to crochet with but um, I obviously crochet a lot and want to get into doing it more so eventually my goal is to crochet like a pair of mittens for myself and I think this weight of yarn is good for that so if, if any of you are knitters or crocheters in the comments let me know if this would work for mittens and eventually I will probably make maybe a pair out of each or I'm not really sure but again I there's I will find something to do with this yarn and worse comes to worse I told him I could always give this to Dali who knits a lot and is much better than me and I could ask her to knit me something with the yarn you know so uh, but very thoughtful very sweet and then speaking of crochet this man got me a crochet gadget okay it's by um, this maker KXK and it is a whole crochet kit so it comes with a base and then interchangeable crochet hooks and basically all you do is you know put it in and then you have your crochet hook comes with various different sizes what's really cool is it comes with a stitch and row counter which for crocheters you know is a very helpful tool and it also comes with a light in case you're crocheting in the dark <laughs> or in a dimly lit room and what's great is you just hold and then it will reset back to zero and again as like a beginner crochet person having a um, stitch counter is really helpful um, row wise I mean I'm mainly doing scarves and blankets so rows like uh, it's usually just once it gets long enough that's where I end it but I have been wanting to do um, try out a few more complicated s stitch patterns and sometimes you have to count with like make sure it's multiples of 14 which is like such a random number or like multiples of five so just having that counter um, is very helpful and yeah it's just it's cool and I like that it's one tool that comes with basically every crochet hook size and that is I'm assuming charges the light but really thoughtful and I just I love it and I, I love like a gadget you know <laughs> I feel like both Alex and I are very much like gadget people, so I am really excited to try this. And I, I don't think Dali watches my videos, so if this ends up working really well, I'm totally gonna get her a set. But Alex is always so thoughtful. He mentioned that he even watched videos on reviews on this to make sure it was like good and he said that the woman he watched that was reviewing it crochets a lot and said that um, the handle was actually very comfortable and the hooks were good quality so very excited to try this out I'm probably gonna try it out today because I'm currently crocheting myself a big like a throw blanket that and then lastly he got me what last thing I'm gonna show is this a 
ancient minerals, magnesium, uh, salt. And what's funny is that I gifted him a magnesium body butter that um, I, I think is endorsed by Venus Williams. And um, I got it for him because, you know, both of us are very active and it's good for sore muscles, but also just for aches and pains. Um, magnesium is like scientifically proven to help with muscle recovery. Um, and there's just like a lot of benefits to magnesium. So it's funny that we each got the other person <laughs> a magnesium product without realizing. And I was inspired because when we were in New Zealand, they had all, a lot of the spas have magnesium soaks that, you know, are advertised for um, muscle relaxation and recovery. So I am very excited to try this out. And I love taking baths, so this will definitely get used. Next up are gifts from his family. So I'm going to start with some Christmas decor that his mom got us. The first is this beautiful ornament. I mean, this is gorgeous. It's a beautiful angel with um, some lights, which, and this actually does light up. It's so pretty and delicate. Um, the top is, you know, it's obviously made of glass. Maybe that's not obvious, but it is made of glass, so it is very delicate. And I just love it. I love getting Christmas decor, especially now with a whole house to decorate. I am trying to limit myself. Um, I mean, you saw, if you saw the video yesterday uh, on our Christmas tree and decor, um, I have not gone full ham, you know, in the house yet because I want to slowly accumulate pieces that are meaningful or that are just unique. And look, I've bought plenty of stuff just from Hobby Lobby or Home Goods, but even then I try to pick pieces that I think will be timeless. And this is beautiful ornament, so I'm very excited. Um, and I already put this on the tree, but I just grabbed it to show you today. Next up, she gave us two fabulous, more fabulous Santas. Um, I love this one. He has a glittery pink coat. I mean, that's just so glamorous. He's holding a little Christmas tree. I just love how sassy he looks. <laughs> it's so bizarre. I don't know where she got these, but I think it's so funny that he is like, has like a sparkly pink coat on. We love we love a fabulous Santa, okay? And then he, he she got me this other one. And these are gifts for both of us, but you know, realistically, I'm the one that's decorating the house. And he's got a little wreath in his hand and a little Christmas tree. And he is also nice and sparkly. Hopefully you can tell, lots of glitter. Um, you know, my whole this is going to be filled with glitter, but I don't care because it's so cute. So I love these. These are going to be added to our mantle. And like I said, I posted a photo earlier of what our mantle looked like. And you can tell um, I put those up and I'm very excited to 
continue building our mantle so that it, every year it's just going to get fuller and fuller. And I love those Santas. You know what? I might have to just do like a fabulous Santa mantle and just go with the theme and then just get more of these Santas. Okay, um, every year we also get a combined stocking from them. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the things that we got in that combined stocking. So usually um, our combined stocking is filled with like food and snacks. This is a heat flame snack mix. Um, and his parents both live technically more full-time in North Carolina now. So it's cool because a lot of times she'll get us snacks that are from North Carolina. So it's things that we might not be able to get here. Also, Alex loves nuts and like a snack mix. So I'm sure he's going to enjoy that. And we got this nice olive oil, which funnily enough is Australian but I don't think she realized that when she gave it to us. Um, but it's Australian, I guess it's technically from Oasis Olives, um, but it's set, um, but yeah, it's from Australia. she got us, she always gets us one of these, um, like soup bags. This is the Gullah Gullah Gumbo. We've had a few different, um, varieties of this, like, soup bag, but it basically comes with all the things you need in a soup, and I think you just basically add water. And it is soup season, so... I'm like gonna try try this out. Now we have more like nuts and snacks. This is the cocktail crunch. Spicy guac flavor. And again, these are like brands that I've never seen here before. Someone just texted me. Um so excited to try that. Next, we have a Virginia Diner Wasabi Snack Mix. I don't really like wasabi, but Alex will eat wasabi. Wasabi just, oh, the, it just kills my nose. Um, so I don't really like wasabi, but... It's weird, because I like spicy food. It's just wasabi. But like I said, Alex will definitely eat that up. Then we got this caramelized onion and garlic dip mix. We got one of these last year as well. And I think Alex used it I don't remember what he used it on actually, but I think he said it was good. So glad we got another one this year. Then we got some Roland spicy chili onion crisp. To me, this um, looks very similar to Laogama. If you know what Laogama is, it's like a Chinese. Um, chili oil, chili crisp oil. That's really good. Um, you can only find it at like Chinese markets or like Asian markets. But I am excited to try this, um, see if it's any good. I've seen this before in grocery stores, so I think it's like pretty popular. Then, um, we have 
a giant like face size bottle of Sambal Olek. <laughs> I use this all the time in cooking and so does Alex, like he'll just put this in his salad. Um, we use this truly all the time, so like even though this is a huge bottle, um, this is, I would say, appropriate size for us. We will definitely be able to use this. And she, it's funny because she said when she ordered it, she thought she was ordering the 8 ounce bottle and it says 18 ounce but again we will definitely use this up and this stays good forever like when you put it in the fridge so that was pretty much everything in our combined stocking she usually also gives us each a stack of um, scratchers and we already scratched them last night. Uh, Alex and I each won a free ticket. <laughs> but last year, Alex was deathly ill. He had the flu um, during Christmas, but on his scratcher, he actually ended up winning $1,000. $1,000. I believe that's the most any of us have ever won. Um, so that was pretty fun that he actually won that much money. Okay, so now I'm going to go into some random gifts um, that, again, are from uh, Alex's side of the family. His parents got us a pair of nice binoculars. These are from Nikon. It's the Pro Staff Binoculars. I think she originally wanted to gift us these before we went on our honeymoon but they might not have come in time but Alex and I go on so many travels like this would be really cool to have and I love it because it's it's totally a gift that is like we probably wouldn't spend the money to get a pair of binoculars you know but now that we have it We are definitely going to use them. I'll show you what it looks like. Comes in a nice case with a strap through the back so you can kind of, I guess, hook it onto a backpack or a bag. pieces come protected with covers <laughs> they're binoculars I mean they look like binoculars um, they I guess here it says 10 times 30 is that what the magnitude is I'm not sure um, I'm actually not really familiar with binoculars I mean I know how they work obviously but the magnification come off and I can spy on the neighbors just kidding um, yeah but these would be great for any sort of sightseeing um, vacation I mean we might bring these to Hawaii why not um, when we go Oop. one of the eye things fell out Again, like a very cool, nice to have thing. Next up, um, they gifted us this folding hand vacuum. I'm very intrigued because, like I said, I love a gadget. And this is perfect to keep in our kitchen. It's great for cleaning up long, like, little messes, basically. I 
I think she said that she bought one for herself and used it and really likes, likes it, so um, I'm excited to try this out. <laughs> Is this what's exciting once you're in your late 20s? Very cool. So definitely gonna try that out. Then um, I did get a very, very nice piece of jewelry as a gift. Um, it's a family piece passed down from Alex's mom, but I'm not gonna show it on camera just for safety. Um, I don't know how I feel about showing like very expensive pieces on here. Um, either way, it's safe in our safe, <laughs> but yeah, I don't wanna put it on here just to, I don't know, expose myself unnecessarily, but that was like a very beautiful piece and I'm very, very grateful and honored that she decided to like gift it to me, so um, that was very sweet. Lastly, um, I want to show you what uh, Nico and Lindsay got us. So they got us this window bird feeder. And I think it's similar to one that they have, but it's an acrylic bird feeder, so you just um, suction cup it to the outside of a window, and you put the bird feed here, and that way when the birds come to eat it, you can see um, all the birds. And um, my nieces love theirs, so I'm excited to try it out, but also hopefully eventually have a, a child who enjoys it as well. It's all wrapped up still, so I'm not going to open it, but yeah, very, very thoughtful. And then lastly from them as well, they got us this nice throw. It's like a, it's technically the size of a blanket, but it's thin enough to be used as just like a little, like a wraparound um, blanket if you're just going for a walk or to use as like just an actual blanket on the couch. And we are a blanket heavy family, okay? Every single couch in our house has at least one blanket on it. Our family room probably has one, two, I'm not kidding, I think five blankets on the couch. I um, like to be very cozy when I'm watching uh, TV or reading, so I like having a variety of different blankets and textures depending on my mood. And I love this. This is perfect for like summer and spring when, or maybe when you're outside by the fire and it's like, it's just a little chilly, but you know, you don't want to put on a sweatshirt, you know, you can toss this on. So, love this, and I love the pattern. Very cute. Alright. So yeah, that is a selection of what I got for Christmas. Obviously, I wasn't able to show you what I got Alex for Christmas, but um, I got him mostly just like body things, like to help with his body recovery, you know, so I got him the magnesium um, body scrub, I got him a um, multi-tool that's like an axe and a knife and like, ta like a tactical thing, um, I also got him the, I guess viral, which I did not realize they were viral when I purchased them, but they, it's the eye massager and it looks like the oculus mask. It's huge, but it's um, an eye massager and face massager that's good for headaches and migraines. And I got him, you know, a random plethora of protein snacks, which he likes, and just a bunch of other random things. So that's what I got him for his um, stocking and stuff. I also knitted him a scarf, but I'm going to have him open that today. Um, at, uh, at the Christmas party later, just so he can open up something. Um, but yeah, so those are, that's everything, or most of the things I got for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope it was relaxing, and I hope again you had a great time with your family and loved ones, no matter what you celebrate, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!